Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at hopefully getting rid of that display screen when you come out of sleep mode where you have to sign in. I don't use a password so I really find it annoying. Let's take a quick look depending on what version of Windows you have. One of these will work hopefully. We can start with user accounts which we can get to by pressing your Windows key plus R for run and that will come up and you'll type in N-E-T-P-L-W-I-Z and click OK. That will bring this up. Now if this is checked we will want to uncheck it and click apply. If you have a password you will have to put it in but keep in mind when you do this you're disabling your password so if your computer is password protected I'm in most cases not a fan it will no longer be password protected so if you want password protection move forward in this video and we'll get to a different way you can do it so the next one will be the local group policy edit so very similar we're going to press the Windows plus R and that will bring up the run box again and you will type in GP edit whoops see the screw up I did there so let's do dot if that doesn't work MSC one of the two will work and there's your local group policy editor so what we're looking to do here is scroll down to oh, I forget now uh, administrative templates expand that with a double click go to the control panel expand that with a double click and go to personalization now as you can see over here do not display the lock screen let's open that up and as you can see it's not configured so you can click enabled click apply and click OK that's it and close now remember you may need to reboot for some of these now if those two didn't work here's one I'm not a big fan of but it might be what you need to do pop open your file explorer you used to know it as Windows Explorer and expand your main drive which is most likely your C drive and we're gonna wanna scroll down to Windows and scroll down to system apps there it is right there and you're gonna have a whole bunch of folders so you're gonna wanna be able to see this so maximize it open it up so you get the right one and as you can see we have the Microsoft dot lock app it's the only one with that name lock app and a bunch of letters and numbers what you wanna do is either click on it once does that work nope right click on it thank you and we want to find rename what we're going to do here is we're going to add an extension to it which basically is a way of deleting the folder without deleting it the reason being is by renaming it dot back which is short for backup for us nerds um, if it doesn't work for you you can always come back right click rename it and just remove the dot back and you're back where you were if that does not work so that is a third possibility again we don't know there's Windows starters there's uh, home pro 32 bit 64 bit so I kept reading and some work for some people some work for others so if you find one I would suggest you do these one at a time and see if you can't find one that works for you and when you do leave it alone you got yourself set up if not everything we just showed you can be reversed as we showed you the dot back and all the different settings we showed you, you can just reverse it and go back to checking it unchecking it whatever you got to do till you get the one that works right kind of a pain in the butt that's how it works. And as always, take a minute and subscribe. We thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and we'll see you next time.